Oh, sorry. Hello and welcome to another episode of GLS TV News. I'm your host, Gabe Moxon. Tune in every week for some local news as well as some world news and really useful and sometimes funny items. First, some world news. In Paris, negotiators from 195 countries are trying to reach a deal within two weeks aimed at reducing global carbon emissions. The increase in greenhouse gas emissions threatens dangerous warming of the Earth due to human activity. The planet's climate has been changing over geological time. However, the current warming period has occurred much faster than it's supposed to, and it threatens life on Earth. Now, over to some local weather with our reporter outside, Jake. Thanks, Gabe. It's pretty cold now, about 38 Fahrenheit. That's above freezing. For anyone else in the world watching, except it to get slightly higher, next week with chances of snow on Friday. Thanks, Jake. Tomorrow, Saturday the 5th of December, is the 8th Annual Parade of Lights in our league. The theme is Let Your Light Shine for Peace Around the World. The parade starts at 6 p.m. with lineup at the high school at 5.30 p.m. For more information, contact Sally Cordier at 406-240-4668. The Missoula Maid Fair is an alternative arts and crafts fair market held at the Adams Center in Missoula. It features lo local and regional artists. This year it includes over 170 artists and 15 nonprofit organizations. Glacier Lake School has a booth there and is one of the biggest fundraisers of the year. So please come along and get something special for everyone on your list. We have been busy making things to sell for the past few weeks. The fair is on December 13th uh, from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the, at the Adams Center. On sa Sunday, the 6th of December, there will be a fundraiser to raise money for the Watson's Children's Center for Christmas presents for the kids. There will be crafts, a band, and food. Come along between 11 and 3, bring money for hot chocolate and cookies. More information at watsonchildrenshelter.org or give them a call at 406-549-0058. Now, back for some more weather with Jake. How's it looking out there, Jake? Oh, oh thanks, Kate. If you're driving around Mission Valley and watching, watch out for the, for the roads. They're really slippery. Now, back to the studio with Kate. Next, we have a very special interview with a student from our school. This week, we hear from Natalie, who has been with us for nearly half a year now. Our reporter is Marina. I'm here interviewing a student from Glacier Lake School. What's your name? Natalie. What are you interested in? I am interested in dragons particularly. What's, what's your favorite color? Turquoise, as you can see. What do you like about coming to Glacier Lake School? That there, um, you can learn whatever you want, whenever you want, and in public schools, you're just like, you have to learn this, you will learn this, oh, 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 we're learning about this, you can't learn that, and like, they sometimes, like, if you want to know something, they're like, no, here, you can just say, I want to learn this, like, you can just learn it instantly, and whatever you want, you can, like, explore all sorts of different learning, and it's really fun. Do you have any good jokes? Right. Yes. What did the buffalo say when he dropped his kid off at school? I don't know. What did he say? <laughs> Bye, son. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maria. What a funny joke that was. I'll be sure to tell that one to my friends and family. It's time for our funny video.
We now have an exclusive interview with Hope, who comes into our school a few times a week to help us as a volunteer. We love having her around, and she really adds something special to our community. Over to our reporter on the scene, Jake. I'm here interviewing our latest guest on Glacier Lake School TV. What is your name? Hope Litzinger. Thank you. What interest do you have? My main interest is riding my horse. Okay. What is your favorite color? I think blue. Oh, okay. What is your favorite food? Chicken and rice soup. Pretty good, actually. What do you like about coming to our school? Oh, I like everything. Okay. I so like the kids. I like reading. I like listening to French and math lessons. <laughs> uh, have you worked with children before? Yes, I taught school in Arle for 26 years, mostly okay. first grade, and then I taught physical education in St. Louis for six years. Okay. If you could, if you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? I think I would get rid of all the guns in the United States of America. Okay. And back, next, back to the studio with our visitor, Gabe. Thanks, Jake. Now we have a new feature on the show we're calling Riddle of the Week. Yay! Each week we'll give you a riddle to solve and we'll give you the answer during the following week's show. I'm very pleased to invite our studio resident Glacier Lake School Riddle Master, Kenna. Welcome to the studio, Kenna. Thanks, Gabe. I'm honored to be here today's riddle is Black Within, Red Without. Four corners roundabout. Well, thanks, Kenna. That's all we have time for this week. Tune in next week and please share this video with everyone you know. It's goodbye from me. And good night from me. Oh, and by the way, I was winning in that arm wrestle. <laughs> <laughs>